So yeah, who wants to go first? Yeah, we're up against uh, they're a good team, Holland. I know they didn't qualify and they've had a lot of criticism, but they're still Holland. You know, they've they've still got you know in one or two players on the pitch who are top quality, and we knew it'd be a tough game. Uh, but you know, I'm not. You know, we always want to win. You want a, a result. We never got that, but we got a lot of other things. Um, so. No, I'm not too despondent, if I'm honest with you. We were competitive. We always want to be competitive. We had six substitutions that we could use, and we used them all. But we did it uh, for, for a reason. Uh, and throughout the game, you know, we tried to stay competitive. So, uh, overall, I'm not too despondent. Chris, you say that you've got a lot of other things. What in particular leads you with the positives you well, You know, a lot. we end up scoring two goals without... Everyone says we only score with Baylor and Rambo, and you know, there's uh, there's truth in that. So tonight to get a couple of goals against a good team without both players on the pitch, or how Robson can you know that's the three, three main men in our offensive threat for the last ten ca ten campaign games we weren't on the pitch. So, um, so that I was delighted for for Tom Lawrence who got 90 minutes and uh, he's very very uh, he's a very good player. Tom, he's 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 improved. And uh, we're very happy with him, and um, he's done very well for us. So I was delighted he got his 90 minutes. Um, you know, George Williams is coming back after a cruciate ligament. That's his fir first team action he's had for probably a year. So it was good for him to get a half an hour. Um, and Ben Davis hasn't been in the first team at Tottenham. Jim Chester's not playing at West Brom. Uh, Adam Henley's first cap. Uh, Paul Dummett's only got one cap. So a lot of lads on the pitch, Emma Hughes, who came on. It's good for them to get minutes because now we're building towards France. So some of the lads who haven't had that much time on, on the pitch, it's important they get some, you know, if they're going to come with us to France. Um, so in that sense, and also, you know, we were competitive throughout the game. Um, so, yeah, you know, we, we got out of it what, what we wanted except for the result, really. Chris, encouraging, obviously, are you and Robin very much made the difference, I guess. Encouraging to think that you do have your own star of that quality. Yeah. In due course. yeah. He's, uh, he's still top quality, Ian yeah, Robin. I think, um, you know, sometimes when you, you, you watch world class players perform like that, and then we can remember that we got one or two in our own ranks. Um, obviously, not missing tonight, but uh, you always need, especially at the top level, if you're going to do anything, you need somebody that can do something a bit special, and we saw that with Robin tonight. Um, We've got one or two that, that can do that. Um, obviously missing, but uh, yeah. It's, uh, it goes to show, doesn't it, when you've got someone like that, new team, bit of fear in the opposition even before you go onto the pitch. So uh, it'd be nice to get uh, both both the guys back for sure. The fact you can be competitive without him and then you have him to come back is an encouraging Yeah, well, I, you know, I was pleased we got a couple of goals because it takes a bit of pressure off him as well, if I'm honest, or Rambo. Um, that we've got a couple of goals tonight against Holland, and just, you know, there's lots. Of course, because everybody wants to talk about the top players, don't they? It's normal. That's that, that, that's that's football. Uh, but it's good for the other lads tonight to step in and and compete. You know, it was important tonight that the lads who haven't been involved, who got some time, put out and and they competed against a good team, and that was important. I, you know, I couldn't tell you to be honest with you. you. A lot can happen between now and then. You know, there's, there's a long time. We'll have a friendly in March, and then we'll have one or two before we go to France. But there's a certain amount of players that I, obviously, injury free that will be coming. We know that. But then, yeah, there's there's places up for grabs that are will depend on form and fitness. Um, so uh, I I, cu I couldn't give you a number if I'm honest with you. I couldn't. Made six changes, Chris, but it's continued to play with real verve and intensity. Have you noticed that in training this week? Has that been sort of the key? Yeah, do you know what? If we don't compete, we're not good enough to walk, especially against Holland, to go onto the pitch uh, and think we can play at 60 or 70 percent. We're not good enough. We have to be at it. And we can't just now think we can go onto the pitch and do what we want when we want. It doesn't work like that. We've got to be at it all the time to get a result. 
to perform we've got to be right in it right in amongst it and and that's when we're on our best where you know tonight we saw in patches glimpses of uh frailty if you like which we never saw for 10 games in the campaign we were rock solid you know we 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 never had any weakness really as a defensive unit as an 11. we're a little bit open today coupled with the fact they've got Yain Robin who can open up any defence when he's in that type of form. Um, but we are a hard to beat team first and foremost. We've got world beaters in the team, one or two, that can win a game. First and foremost, we need to do the ugly business, which we've done very, very well. Um, and that's what we're about. We can play good football, we can create chances, but unless we're defending for our lives uh, in every defensive situation, you know, we don't get the results that we want. So uh, first and foremost, you know, we're a hard to beat team. But you've made lots of changes. Uh, you talk about the defence. I mean, it's, it's now as much about developing that depth. Is that, is that, is that arguably more important perhaps than, than defaulting to what's got you, got you this far? Yeah, we, we've got, we're building towards something now. We, we mustn't think, look what we've done. It's great what we've done. I'm, you know, I'm as proud as anybody. But it's gone. It's done. It's finished. It's behind us. And what's coming next and that's what we work towards now and that's what we build towards and this is we'll be judged on what's coming not what's been you know we, we can't sit on that it's great I'm immensely proud what's coming that's what we'll be judged on and that's what we're building towards and yeah working on a bit of strength and depth and so we've got a lot of young players um, who could be available for the summer um, some will be there some may not be there um, and if we've got time between now and then to give them some more minutes on the pitch, then obviously we've got to try and do that. Same, same time, we, you know, we've got to keep momentum uh, going into uh, our first tournament. So, uh, yeah, but uh, we're very much working towards something. Chris, do you think time will drag between now and the or will it all come too quickly to anticipate? Normally, it drags between games like this fixture, and then we don't play till March normally, or. I think it's going to go quickly. I think it will go quickly, if I'm honest. We've got, we've got a lot of work to do off the pitch in terms of organisation. And, and I think it's going to go quickly. I hope it goes quickly. Um, you know, it's something we've been dreaming about for a long time. And, you know, but we've, we have got a lot of work to do off the pitch in terms of uh, a facility, what we choose, where we, where we choose to stay. And once we've, once we've chosen to arrange everything and... Uh, so we've got a lot, a lot of work to do, but I've I got a feeling it will probably go quickly. Chris, you named Tom Bradshaw in this squad. How's he done in training over the past week? Yeah, good. Good, Tom. Um, got something in Tom Bradshaw. He's a goal scorer, we know that. Um, confident boy. Got that little bit of something in and around the box for sure. Um, I think sooner, sooner, sooner or later, Tom will make his debut, I would imagine, for us. Um, you know, look, look at... You know, we've got uh, Tom Lawrence, who was at the wait a long time. You know, he's been in a lot of squads and not come on. And he made his debut against Sandora. I know he's played 90 minutes tonight. So, uh, but no, I was impressed with Tom. Done very well. Done very well. Can I take you back to Tom Lawrence? Sorry, because he, he obviously stepped away from the United States, got to Leicester, dropped down to Black then. This is an upward curve for him now. What's your advice to him now to take, take away from this? He, you know what? He does, he's, he's a very level-headed boy. He doesn't need my advice. He, he comes to every every camp. Um, he's a joy to have on, on camp. He trains well. He never he's never once, you know. We've made obviously a lot of substitutions in the last ten tank uh, campaign games, and right up until you know the Andorra game, he's never complained once. He's never asked me a question. He's very polite. He works his socks off in training. He enjoys being with us. You know, and we watch him in training, and his, and his glimpses, and you think, you know, he's he's a good player. This boy, um, and I think is in. His performance against Andorra, and again 90 minutes tonight, where we were defending, defending on a low block, we were defending deep for long periods. That's what we had to do. And sometimes he's up there by himself, but he's cute, you know, in his thinking, he's cute, and he sees situations early, um, moves into good areas. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm interested. Without putting extra pressure on Tom, you know, I'm interested, and I'm, you know, I'm excited about uh, the chance to work with him, and uh, you know, in uh, Hopefully March and then uh, and then the summer. Chris, it's slightly different than whether you've seen the news this evening from Paris or some shootings and explosions here in Stade de France, some eighteen at least dead. I know it's a difficult one to comment on now, but has security been mentioned for any teams as 
they've been looking at different training bases in France, that sort of thing, because there's a couple of incidents like these. Like I, 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 do you know what? I, I, I had no idea about that. Um, I can only, you know, our, our security is absolutely tip top. We've never had an incident. Uh, the, the guys who look after us are absolutely fantastic. Um, but I, I've, do you know what? It's the first time I've ever heard of that, and that's obviously extremely sad.